You have an environment built on Microsoft Azure. It needs to be FedRAMP compliant. What controls do you need to put in place to make sure that this is true? Hi, my name is Scott Chapman and I'm the CISO of Project Hosts. Today I want to talk with you about the AU family of FedRAMP controls. That's the audit family. It's the family of controls that talks about the logging that you need to do in your systems to be able to alert you when something is going wrong or if an incident took place to be able to go back and do diagnosis of it in arrears. To do this the right way, you need to have an SIEM system in place. The system that we use for this is Tenable Log Correlation Engine and the Tenable Security Center. These are some of the most accepted systems for this kind of FedRAMP deployment. And what they do, the Log Correlation Engine allows you to ensure that you can audit all of the many things that FedRAMP requires you to audit. There's a laundry list of things that you have to show that you have the capability to audit. There's a much smaller subset of things that you have to show that you are actually auditing on a regular basis, and this also allows you to do that. Then it allows you to correlate these logs from many different environments. We have three different networks within FedRAMP that we correlate our audit logs across, and in addition, we correlate those with non-FedRAMP networks. And so this allows you to do all of that, put in place thresholds that make sense for alerting, and then be alerted when there are problems in your environment. The Tenable Security Center is the part that actually does that alerting and also generates weekly reports and ad hoc reports to help you see what is going on. So those are the primary things in the audit control family. Uh, there are a few other controls to keep in mind First of all, you've got to be storing your audit logs somewhere. We store them in Azure geo-redundant storage. Because it's geo-redundant, it takes care of a control that the logs have to be on physically different systems. Also, you have to make sure that you have enough space for the logs and you get alerted when space is running low. And you have to retain logs for 90 days for FedRAMP moderate and higher for longer systems. So with all of these in place, these are this is the essence of the audit control family. If you have any questions about the FedRAMP audit control family or FedRAMP in general, please contact us. Also, please have a look at the other videos that we have in this series, and we would appreciate your feedback on them. Thank you very much.